Hi, I've been asked how I prepare canvases for painting with watercolour so I thought I'd show you and it's really straightforward. So this is the list of what we need. First of all you've got to protect yourself and protect your area because uh, this stuff is designed to stick. Uh, so I've got a plastic cloth here, I've got an apron on. Then you need a canvas. You can go for something like this. This is a thin edged canvas and it's designed for acrylic or oil, it's ready primed. So, or you can go for something like this, thick edge canvas, a, a box canvas, again designed for oil or acrylic. Both these canvases are cotton. You could use um, a linen canvas. They're more expensive but they're far finer weave and they are lovely to work on. The process is just the same, but I guess when you're starting out or doing things in bulk, um, then maybe cotton is, is the way to go. Next, you need your watercolour ground. Watercolour ground is basically quite like gesso and designed to stick to the canvas to make it act a little bit more like paper. You can get white, you can get transparent or coloured. I'm obviously using white here. You need something to put it on with. You saw the roller, you could use one of these sponge applicators, ordinary house brush. I prepare my canvases in bulk um, and therefore I use a roller. And why do I do it in bulk? Because you need to be patient. It needs three thin layers and they need to dry in between. Um, don't put a thick gloopy layer on in the hope that that's quicker. Just be patient. Um, so I do lots of them at once. So let, let's just use this little thin edge canvas. You obviously need to remove the plastic. That's not exactly tricky, is it? If you've got these little keys, keep them somewhere safe. That's in case your canvas goes saggy. Um, recycle your paper, please. Sorry about the plastic. There's no way getting around that, I'm afraid. Um, just check nothing's warped. When you put your canvas on a flat surface, all corners should be in contact. This is really obvious on bigger canvases. If there's a bit of rocking in there, don't buy it in the first place, return it to the shop because what's happened are these um, stretcher bars, they've warped their wood and it can happen um, if they've not properly dried in the first place. Um, those keys are for stretching it if it goes saggy and you put them in the corners and stretch that corner, that's a joint. Now you'll find, and I don't know why they do it on cheap canvases, they actually um, staple across that joint so it can't move. It's ridiculous. So if I'd needed to stretch this, I'd have to take that staple out and then stretch that joint. But I don't, it's fine. Okay, so canvas. So it's three thin layers. So what I usually do, certainly on a bigger canvas, is kind of put a blob of how much I think I need and I might put it evenly across a canvas if you imagine this is a meter wide and then I start going diagonal just to spread it out because you're really trying to get that nice even layer no blobs no squidges I also do the sides and make sure they don't have runs squidges or blobs on them I usually manage to roller paint myself at the same time, but I don't mind that. Well, there you go. That's fine. Just come back to the surface and then I just do a gentle roll over both ways to get the most even layer I can. I do check so there's a little blob of something, so I get that off there and then make sure I haven't got any strange marks. And that is it. You need to leave it to, to dry now. Take about an hour to be touch dry before doing layer two 
layer three and then letting it dry fully overnight. We'll come back when this is touch dry and I'll show you the rest. Welcome back. The canvas is now dried after about an hour and a half, so totally touch dry. And now we need to do the second layer. But first, if you wish to, you can sand the canvas over just lightly to get a smoother surface. Literally sanding like that, edges, and it just gives a slightly smoother surface to work on if that's what you like. Once again, put on enough of the, the um, ground to do a thin coating, go diagonal, don't forget those edges, make sure there's no nasty build-up or splodges along them. And then do a final gentle roll over to minimise brush marks or roller marks. Let it dry and then do a third coat. Let that cure for about 24 hours, maybe even a little longer if you're patient and uh, you're ready to go. I would recommend, because I do um, coat, well gosh, probably 10 canvases at a time, just to write on the back what you've done to it, because maybe a couple of months later, you're really not gonna remember what you used or how many coats you put on, etc., etc. But now you're ready to go. So enjoy your uh, watercolour canvas.